Welcome in to another video. I'm JJ Swat, and here are the top 10 rookie mistakes you're probably making in Football Fusion 2. Number one, jumping too early. I see this one all the time. You're a wide receiver and you're wide open, but you haven't gotten a pass yet. Maybe the QB hasn't seen you, or maybe you're just not patient enough. So to make sure you're seen, you jump to get his attention. Here's the problem. Jump has a four second cooldown. So now if you need it, you're out of luck. Don't jump. Just stay open and hope the QB sees you. Number two, not diving. So there are tons of situations where you're chasing after the guy with the ball and he's just out of reach and you're trying to get a little closer before you dive at him. Here's the problem. You're not going to magically run faster than him. Unless you're actively cutting him off at an angle, your best bet is to trust the reach and dive for him. This is a last ditch effort when your only chance of catching up is with a dive. So why not? This ties into number three diving. Okay, I know it's contradictory. Let me explain. The more common thing I see is players diving when they have no business doing it. Either they're rushing for the tackle or they're diving for the interception as if the receiver just won't catch it for some reason. Stay standing and zone out the player. Let the hitbox do the work and work on your dive timing so when you do need to dive like in number two, you do it at the right time and with accuracy. Number four, wandering on returns. It's a kickoff or a punt and the returner is in the end zone. They pick up the ball and have two options, kneel for the touchback or return for yards. For some reason, some players choose option number three, run around in the end zone playing tag. Here's the problem. If your game is on one or 2% fumble chance, you're running an incredibly high risk. I have caused so many fumbles on those players and they've been recovered for free touchdowns. You also risk accidentally leaving the end zone, which opens you up to getting a safety. There's no good reason to play around in the end zone like that. If you want to burn clock, do it during the drive. Number five, bombing for no reason. Look, I get it. A massive part of the FF community loves bombs and fades. I'm often criticized for playing the game like I would a regular football game. So I get it if you want to bomb mid on the last play of the half or fade on the two point conversion. But sometimes I see QBs that bomb every single play. Bro, come on. And then they have the audacity to blame the wide receiver. No player, not even the best of the best, has a 100% success rate when catching. So if you toss it up to a crowd, just know that it's a 50-50 chance it's getting intercepted. And in a close game that you're trying to win, you're just shooting yourself in the foot. Number six, complaining. I see this a lot. I'll either throw the ball to a wide open player or I'll run it for gains. And another player says, bro, I was wide. The important thing to remember is this is a team game. So if your teammate caught it instead of you, that's not a bad thing. If your QB runs for 40 yards, that's not a bad thing. Yeah, sometimes it sucks if you're wide and the QB runs, but if at the end of the drive someone scores, who cares? All you're doing is showing you're not a team player and you're putting extra pressure on yourself. If you do all that complaining and then don't catch, how do you think that makes you look? Number seven, saying stole. Whether it's a pass for a touchdown or an interception, I see a lot of players saying, he stole my pass. No, there is no such thing as stole. If that player were a defender, wouldn't that be a turnover? If that player didn't get it first, who's to say you would have? If it's in a crowd, there's no guarantee that the ball is yours. So if your teammate got to it first, good for them. If it's just you and your teammate alone and he mosses you, be better. Number eight, going AFK. Okay, so this isn't targeting everyone that has to walk away for a second. This is more of those players that play on offense and then regularly don't play defense, usually because they're doing something else or talking trash in chat. If all you're doing is trying on offense and not caring about defense, then all that work goes to waste as the other team easily scores. If you genuinely have to go or you don't care because it's Roblox football, then that's fine. But maybe consider leaving the game and finding a new server when you're ready to play again. If you care about your overall, then all those moments sitting AFK really hurt your progress. Also, don't bench yourself if you're doing bad. I see players that pull themselves out because they're trash, but all that does is take away a player from your team and you take up a slot that could be filled by someone who wants to play. It's not like someone subbed in for you. Just keep playing. The experience is better than doing nothing. Number nine, being stubborn. If you're bad at QB, fighting for the position and throwing interceptions isn't helping you get better. There's no shame in the practice game. 
hit that teleport to practice button and get yourself warmed up at least. Being stubborn and insisting that you be QB only hurts your team, and it ruins your stats, so your chances of getting voted QB in your next game are just lower. Be humble and be willing to step down and give someone else a chance if you're not doing well. Number 10, knowing the game. This takes experience, so if you're a rookie, just focus on learning how the game works. The biggest mistake I see is players running short routes on the final play of the half. If it's the last play, go to the end zone, watch the clock. If you're out of time, either get out of bounds or fight as best as you can to score. There are certain situations towards the end of the half where you'll be forced to go for it on fourth down. Don't let your guard down. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Remember to be kind to each other. It's just Roblox football. If you had fun, you won.